thanks for joining me for another episode in our beginner series, Know Your Fish. Today, we're going to talk about sablefish. It's also known by uh, several other names, one of which is black cod. Sablefish is so rich and buttery, and it's very high in omega-3 fatty acids. One of the reasons is that uh, sablefish are bottom dwellers. They, they inhabit the uh, continental shelf where the waters are really super icy and the fish develop a, uh, a layer of insulating fat that goes throughout the flesh, which is why it's so rich and buttery and fatty and delicious. So let's look at black cod sablefish in its raw state and then in its cooked state. Unlike salmon, which are very easy to remove the pin bones with tweezers in their raw state, sablefish hold on to their bones and it makes it really tough to cut through them to, to take them out with tweezers. This little section here from the collar has bones. Now they don't run straight up and down. So you have to be tricky and you slice through it on an angle, um, all the while trying not to take away too much of that precious meat. So you wanna feel for the bones to meet any resistance and you can actually hear the knife scraping against the bones when you're close enough. And then when you get to the bottom, try not to cut through the skin, but run along the skin, pulling out the, um, the bones with a little bit of the, the, uh, the sablefish meat. For our sake and for the ease of, of enjoyment, just you can cook it and then you can simply take the bones out after they're cooked. Now you can use either a pair of tweezers, your fingers, pliers, or while you're, you know, you could just eat around it. The flakes just sort of melt apart. Look at that, really big, silky, beautiful flakes. Now, because the fish is so fatty, you can overcook it a little bit without really drying it out. Optimum internal temperature is 140 but you don't want, you don't really want to eat sablefish too rare. So some of the ways that you can enjoy sablefish, it's pretty versatile, it's delicious on the grill, it's great pan fried, it's great in soups and chowders, and also broiled, it's just fantastic. Another great preparation is to marinate it in a mixture of mirin, soy, miso and the enzymes in the soy and the miso will permeate the meat and the sweetness of the mirin will caramelize. So a fun fact about sablefish is that about one in a hundred have a genetic characteristic called jelly belly. And these affected fish lack an enzyme that keeps their, their flesh firm during the cooking process. So if you should come across an affected fish when it's cooked, the flesh will disintegrate, making it completely inedible. The good news is that it's pretty rare. It's only about one in a hundred. So for more great tips and recipes and techniques, how to use your sablefish, visit our website, go to the recipes page. We've got Nobu style miso marinated sablefish. We've got a Cantonese style steamed sablefish, which is absolutely delicious. Crispy skin sablefish, even smoked sablefish. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned for more episodes in our beginner series, Know Your Fish, where we'll talk about all of the other species that you can expect to find in your box. Thanks, see you soon.